after five days of soul searching that has seen everyone from Diego Maradona to Lionel Messi's mother have their say on where it has gone wrong so far for their team. It was left to Jorge Sampaoli to put things in perspective on Monday. The week was difficult after the defeat the coach admitted. Tomorrow the World Cup starts for Argentina. Yet, if you had believed the reports, the man who led Chile to the Copa America in 2015 might not have even been in charge as his side prepared to face Nigeria in St. Petersburg knowing that only a victory can keep alive their hopes of qualifying for the knockout stages. Speculation that Sam Pauli had been sacked in the early hours of the morning after the devastating 3-0 defeat to Croatia and that players had demanded Jorge Barakiga. The general manager and a 1986 World Cup winner, should take over were angrily dismissed by their FA's president, Claudio Tapia, who accused the media of hurting the national team. Javier Mascherano also attempted to defuse any suggestion that they had demanded Sampaoli ditch his favoured three-man defence in an attempt to improve the service to Lionel Messi, who has yet to score in Russia. The relationship with the coach is totally normal he said on Monday. Obviously, when we feel some discomfort or we see something, we express it to him because otherwise we would be hypocrites. Unlike for the opening draw against Iceland and the loss to Croatia, however, Sampaoli decided against revealing his hand 24 hours before kickoff, claiming he had yet to inform the players of his team but that it is in his head. World Cup Fiverr, sign up and get our daily football email The way the match was structured against Croatia didn't suit Messi. The coach said. We'll try to make it better and hope that he will be able to receive the ball a lot more. Maradona, who coached Argentina to the quarter-finals in 2010, has been among Sampaoli's chief critics this week, accusing the 58-year-old of lacking a plan, but also blaming Tapia for a failure to plan ahead that has seen the country's previously all-conquering youth sides fail to qualify for several recent major tournaments. While Messi escaped his ire, the captain's mother also revealed in an interview with Argentinian television that her son suffered and cried after the Croatia defeat. His dream is to win a World Cup. It's what he wants the most said Celia Cachitini. His 31st birthday on Sunday was marked by a peck on the cheek and a pat on the back from Sam Pauli before training. Amid reports he had been one of the instigators of the revolt, while down the road in Bronitsi a small town 30 miles to the southeast of Moscow that is Argentina's base in Russia there was another celebration going on. Known as the farthest point of Napoleon's advance after the fall of Moscow in 1812, local residents arranged a party in honor of the Barcelona forward that featured a 60kg life-size chocolate sculpture of their hero as its centerpiece. A team of five workers at had worked for nearly a week to produce it before being distributed among supporters. In response to the rumors about his position, Sam Pauli said, The week went from low to high, and with respect to what was said, I cannot clarify things that did not exist. They make you feel like a criminal because you lost a game. He has a contract until 2022 and with the Argentina FA in severe financial difficulties, would usually expect to lose his job if they are eliminated. But against a resurgent Nigeria who in November beat Argentina 4-2 in Krasnodar they face a difficult task. The two teams are going to try their best to qualify. Which makes it a very attractive match Sam Pauli added. I am convinced that we have a big opportunity to make it through. Argentina's Jorge Sampaoli begs forgiveness with World Cup in balance. Jorge Sampaoli accepted full responsibility for Argentina's humiliating defeat against Croatia, which leaves them on the brink of elimination from the World Cup. And said he begs for forgiveness from the supporters that turned on him.
The Argentina coach described his players as emotionally broken after they conceded a farcical opening goal following a dreadful blunder from Willy Caballero. But he refused to blame the Chelsea goalkeeper for a 3-0 defeat in which Lionel Messi was largely anonymous. With Croatia now through to the last 16, Argentina have to beat Nigeria in their final group game on Tuesday to have any chance of qualifying for the second phase. Even that may not be enough, however, after they suffered their heaviest defeat in the group stage of the World Cup since 1958. Asked what he would say to the Argentina supporters who voiced their displeasure towards the end of the game. Sam Pauli replied, I would beg for their forgiveness, especially those Argentina supporters who made such a great effort to be here. And I repeat what I said. I'm responsible. I was just as dreamy-eyed as any fan before. So I'm hurt. I did the best job I could and I quite simply did not find a way to give them what they wanted. Although Sam Pauli claimed it was not realistic to put the burden on Caballero for the goal he gifted to Antti Rebic with his awful attempt to play out from the back. He admitted it was a turning point in the match in terms of the mental fragility of his team, with Luka Modric and Ivan Rakitic going on to score again for Croatia. After they scored, we kind of lost our way and we were emotionally broken Sam Pauli said. We didn't have any football arguments to make to change the course of events. Sam Pauli defended Messi after he was asked to compare his contribution at this World Cup with Cristiano Ronaldo, who has scored four times. I think Cristiano is a great player but right now we shouldn't compare these two players. Sam Pauli said. The reality of the Argentina squad clouds Leo's brilliance.